how to create a customized tab, ribbon, groups, and commands in Word. This may be relevant when you are executing a repetitive task. You can place all these commands on one tab to avoid switching back and forth. Click on the File tab. Navigate to the Option group. From the Word Option dialog box, click on Customize Ribbon. Select all commands from the Command From dialog box. Now click on New tab. Right click on it and rename it Rich P Publications. And click OK to effect the change. Rename the group to Formatting Group. And click OK to effect the change. Search for the command you want to add, for example, Format Painter. Once you chance on it, click the Add button to add it to the formatting group. Look for another command, for instance, Copy. Once you find it, just click on the Add button while the command is still selected to add it to the formatting group. Search again. For example, Paste. Once you find it, just click on the Add button while the command is still selected to add it to the formatting group. Highlight the Rich P publications and now click on the New Group command to create a new group. Rename the group to Insert Group and click OK to effect the change. Search for the command you want to add. For instance, chat. Once you chance on it, click on the Add button to add it to the Insert group. Look for another command, for example, Picture. Once you find it, just click on the Add button while the command is still selected to add it to the Insert group. Highlight the current group button and now click on the new group button to create a new group. Rename the group to Design Group and save it. Search for the command you want to add. For instance, Watermark. Once you chance on it, click on the Add button to add it to the Design Group. Look for another command, Age Border. Once you chance on it, Click on the Add button to add it to the Design Group. Click on the New Group command to create a new group. Rename the group to Layout Group. And click OK to effect the change. Search for another command you want to add. For example, Margin. Once you chance on it, click on the Add button to add it to the Layout Group. Look for another command. For instance, Orientation. Once you find it, just click on the Add button while the command is still selected to add it to the Layouts group. Search again. For example, Color. Once you find it, just click on the Add button while the command is selected to add it to the Layouts group. Look for another command. For example, Break. Once you find it, just click on the Add button to add it to the Layouts group. Click on the New Group command to create a new group. Rename the group to Review Group. And click OK to effect the change. Search for the command you want to add. For instance, Speak. Once you chance on it, click on the Add button to add it to the Review group. Look for another command, for example, Grammar. Once you find it, just click on the Add button while the command is still selected to add it to the Review group. Now click on the New Group command. Rename the group to Save Group. And click OK to effect the change. Search for the command you want to add. For instance, save. Once you chance on it, click on the Add button.
to add it to the save group, look for another command, for example, open. Click on the add button to add it to the save group. Finally, click on the add button to add open existing to the save group. Close the tab and click OK to save it. Your customized tab is now visible among the office tabs. Let's do a run command to get some content to test our tab, ribbon, and commands on our new customized tab. Highlight the first paragraph. Right click on it and change the font size to 14. Press Ctrl J on the keyboard to justify the contents on the customized formatting group. Select Format Painter to copy the format and apply it to the third paragraph. Click on the page border command. From the pop-up, select the one you prefer and click OK to apply it. And click on the watermark command to assign a watermark to the document. You can also click on margins to set the right or appropriate margin for the document. I will intentionally add S to galleries and click on the grammar check to fix that. Well, our grammar check is working. Highlight the first paragraph and click on the speak icon to read it for you. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click online video, you can paste in the embed code for the video you want to add. You can also type a keyword to search online for the video that best fits your document. To make your document look professionally produced, Word provides header, footer, cover page, and text box designs that complement each other. For example, you can add a matching cover page, header, and sidebar. Click insert and then choose the elements you want from the different galleries. The position of your customized tab can be repositioned to suit your workflow. Just click on the file, you go to options, customize ribbon, and use the up and down arrows to reposition it and click OK to effect the change. You can see the customized tab has been repositioned. Don't forget to subscribe. Tech Tricks GH, teaching tricks and techniques in IT and design. Subscribe, share, like, and comment on our videos.